All right, hello everybody. This is Andrew for Game Zone. We got Queen Ray Two here. That's what she's calling herself. I can't stop her. It's the name she goes by. Whoa, what's up, other bro guy? Whoa. All right. So we are gonna actually finish up with this playthrough. Last episode, we did the amazingly easy task of killing Dark Lurker. That is a troll. Dark Lurker is a pain. Um, super hard boss. Hardest boss in the game. So we're going to go finish the game out. And by doing so, we're going to kill two more bosses that are going to be in our way. Actually, there's one other thing we haven't done. But this literally takes two seconds. So let's... There's an easy way to tell if we've done it. No, we have not. All right. So let's go grab this real quick. Just to show you where it is. I like the shadows with the crown on it. Strayed. Wow, that's his name. We're going to go unleash Strayed. Last episode, couldn't think of his name. I haven't even looked it up since then. Just, I forgot in that moment. So yeah, we're back here. Good old Lost Bastille. We're going to put magic on our weapon because we're not going to find anything. And if we do, we're going to make it easier. No real trick to this. I don't even need to kill him. We're in a hurry, people. We got the end of the game on our hands. Plus, by going to straight now, it'll be good because we can see all the gear he can make us. Or should I say trade us? Ooh, got him on a really weird backswing. Don't even care. That guy's gonna hit. Or not. Oh, wow. Getting the good dodges on these guys. Alright, here's straight. And it's also the last bonfire. That's kind of why I wanted to get it. Get out of here, straight above. You had to get petrified in a jail cell guarding a bonfire. Who does that? So let's see what he's got. He's got these. These are all items you could trade souls for. You can see in the bottom. So there you go. There's straight. He also trades these spells, which are for souls. Oh, Dark Lurker Soul Life Drain Patch? Ew, I didn't know the Dark Lurker had a soul. There you go. Dark Lurker Soul also. Giant Lord Soul Repel, Royal Rat Authority, Royal Rat Vanguard, Soul Velstat, Scorpion. So you can either trade souls to him or Ornifax, which we already found. So there you go. Here's that. All right, now let's beat this game. This is all the bon... We technically... Not technically. We literally have all the bonfires now. Now to end... The creature, which is a descendant... Of Manus. Or has a piece of Manus. Or something to do with Manus. From Dark Souls. Specifically the DLC. Alrighty. So let's go. We don't need... We need the Ring of the King on to open this door. Which is annoying because if you die in either of these boss fights, you have to keep putting the Ring of the King back on. But for now, we're going to put the... Dragon ring on. Third dragon ring, increase HP, stamina, and maximum load. Uh, yes, please. And make sure you have the aged feather equipped here, and I'm going to show you why in a moment. Uh, as per usual, I'm not going to summon any players, but I will summon NPCs the first time, and as we all know, 
I don't do well with NPCs. They just make the boss harder and they usually get crushed and yada yada yada. So we're gonna do it the first time and if I die, I'll do it my way. The solo way. That's not me just thinking I'm good. That's just, I don't know, I just... I think the NPCs are too unpredictable and I don't really know how to gauge the bosses while they're locked on someone else. I could put the red stone, or the, not the red tear stone ring, but the red ring on you get from the cat that focuses them on you, but we're just not going to do that. So let's do two NPC summons here. Head of Vengarl, sure. And Bernhard of Wego. Hugo. Wego? Hugo. So we're going to fight the Throne Watcher and Defender. Let's put on some Crystal Magical Weapon. That's Vengarl. Remember we killed his body and found his head? That's it all put together. All right, so these two bosses, you want to, oh, she doesn't want any piece of this. You want to kill them, ooh, they are so healthy with, well, they want a piece of me, uh, with all these guys in here. You want to kill them at the same time because they have the power to resurrect each other. So, and I don't mean like resurrect at like 50% health or something, I mean, Resurrect at full freaking hit points. Oh, dude. My, if my dudes get wrecked like they are, um, it's going to be hard to bring these two down. That's why I don't like NPCs. She does not care about me. Stop slighting me, lady. Start evening out this damage. They do a big casting ritual before they summon the other person, or summon, resurrect. So like, you have time to kill them, which is usually how I actually do do it. And they do put like buffs on their weapons. Ow, he just put uh, lightning on his, ooh crap, I might die. And then she just put Oh, so there goes there goes one down. But I could do the same thing. So Bernhardt's down. Now it's just me with two really powerful bosses. But they're both kind of low. So if I could drop one, I, the other should be at enough hit points where I could kill it. I like to kill her first. Or actually, I think it's a him, even though it looks like a her. Ugh! I'm doing a lot of damage. They do, and they have so many health because we technically summon two people. She has the Ninja Flip Ring from Dark Souls, which I miss more than anything. Ow, I just took that in the face. See, their buffs go down, but... Oh, boy! He swung that thing like a baseball bat. But he will reapply it, which I think he's doing... Not now. Both of them will reapply. I'm in a bad spot. There he goes. Oh, they're both doing it. Double drink! <clears throat> I don't know what he's doing besides just taking my hits to the shin. Uh, these guys would be, like I said, I keep saying it, a lot easier if I didn't summon twice. I'm dead. Nope! Nope! Don't do that! He did his, like, strong attack. Oh. Don't want to say I walked into that, but kind of walked into that. Okay, we need to kill one. Enough is enough. Don't charge me. Don't charge me. You're thinking about charging me. Nope. <sighs> Spells wore off again. That's how long this fight's been going on. Ow. I was trying to think I should kill him. She's putting her weapon, her enchantment. Oh, wow. That was close. Her enchantment back on. Oh, no, she's not. Ooh. I walked right into that. Don't even have the option to double drink anymore. Now we're going. Okay, I wasn't even aware that she shot spells. Makes sense, she's a mage. Thought I was the only mage that didn't shoot spells. Well, if we do get one of them down, we should definitely win this. Ooh, she's quick. Attack me. 
know what he's doing. Oh, my shield. I thought he was reapplying us, but he was just chilling. He was like, oh, you can get her. Again, I think it's a him. Just, I don't know. Something about that armor looks feminine. I don't know. She could do something quick right now, but she didn't. It's that baseball attack. Both their armor is so cool looking. Ooh, I'm really clear you can roll off a cliff in this fight. I've done it before. Ah. Going over a healing with these radiant gems, but two bosses left. I mean, new game plus to worry about, but. Okay, I'm gonna go for him. He has no shield. I don't know why he puts his shield down halfway. Doing more damage. Okay, he's dead. Or not. Oh, that was an early roll. Oh, put myself between him and her. Him. I don't know. For whatever. She's a her. I don't care what she actually is. There we go. We got this. And if even if she goes to uh, resurrect him, uh, I'll kill her. The time. Unless I play really bad now. Safe and sorry. There she goes. Don't do what you're doing. That was an ordeal. That was a straight out ordeal. Now there's only one thing left. Lissandra. But guess what? We're going to use this. That's why I said equip that. Uh... Interesting. So that battle literally spawned the second I used that. Ah, so that's cool. What I did is I just ran away from the final boss fight. <laughs> what you're wondering why is because, well, I was out of Estus. And I'd rather have Estus. And the fight's literally just to run down a big hill. So we're going to do take two. And no, I do not have to kill the Throne Watcher and Defender again. That would be awful. They're dead. We have their souls. We collected their souls. If you could actually keep fighting them, what am I doing? Um, that would be a huge exploit because if you don't do it like I did and do it by yourself and are with players or whoever you want to do it or it's an easier fight for you, uh, you could just infinitely run that yourself and get their boss souls, which you could, it's two souls, so you could break both of those and the souls you actually get for winning the fight. So it is actually better for, hey, look, I didn't rest at the bonfire. So it's actually better that... Oh, that would have been funny if I went all the way down there. Started fighting Nassandra and... Didn't get my Estus back. Oh, the door's open. Quick, quick, before it closes. Nice. Oh, by the way, she's here. Probably should have talked to her before. Put down her hood. So my name is Shana, the dragon. Tells you her name. Tells born. you about her dragon past. If I did not come. Fate. If you put... No, and... Put me. Uh, very, very important key lore stuff. This hasn't been a real lorey run through, so. I mean, yeah, you could pause it, read it, do whatever you want, but I don't want to. I mean, you're watching this, so I guess you don't care about spoilers, but. This is literally the end of the game. This is the last boss fight. This game, uh, this, uh, this boss fight I have done with a piercing only weapon with a rapier, I don't suggest it. You need, you need a, no, you need a slash. Um, if she's going to put down these orbs that you're going to want to attack to get rid of, like, you have to. Oh, speaking of which, let's put the ring of... I know what you're saying. We're at full hit points. Why do we... Eh, putting the ring of binding on this attack is... This attack. This boss fight's really good because she curses a lot. Her laser can curse you. The orbs can curse you. Um, we're going to do this again because it's what I do, I guess. But if we die, we are going to not do that. I know you're thinking the other guy should make it easier. I disagree. Plus, I think it's kind of weak that they put both these guys. Oh, we only put a great one. Oh, we didn't use crystal magical weapon. That might be best for if we reapply it midway through the fight. Oh, I whiffed. So these are the orbs you want to attack. There's no sort of attack animation or... Um, way to know that you've hit 
There's no sound. Alright, they've got her attention. This is why I want the Ring of Binding on. You see how much times we're getting cursed? I should have put it on. It's going to be better than the Dragon Ring. Now it's just a beatdown. Got her attention. Swing. Swing. This is going to be a beatdown, especially if I keep her attention. I think that's a Nova. You guys keep you guys are doing a bang up job. She's reapplying the orbs, crush them. She does Oh, there goes Vengrel. Oh, Bernhardt has a lot of health though. Maybe she was focusing him. And that's that's Nassandra, everyone. Not by any means the hardest boss in the game. Uh, the only trick is learning that you need to fight the orbs. And you need a weapon that can hit the orbs. That guy's throwing faith. Uh, so unlike Dark Souls, there is the portal here, but there's no option to leave. So there's only really one ending. So let's go do it. Oh, let's know. Ray has to be pretty for her cameo. Or for her cameo, for her ending. Let's give her the ring of the dead. Yeah, buddy. I'll let this play. Whatever. If you don't want to know what it is, skip it. I give you the power of the internet. Ray, she's looking human. She has her crown on. She knows her role. She knows what she is. She's literally committed regicide between killing Vendrick and now Queen Nassandra. Descendant of Manus. The first man. The affirmative pygmy. You who link the fire. You who bear the curse. Once the fire is linked, souls will flourish anew, and all of this will play out again. It is your choice to embrace or renounce this. Sovereign, take your throne. I think the chair is a little bigger than it needs to be. What lies ahead, only you can see. So the game kind of sets itself up to to kind of ex almost explain New Game Plus in a weird way. But yeah, you beat the game, you beat all the royalty, and then you go into this weird egg type throne room that closes, and it ends. What? So yeah. Um, that's Dark Souls 2, as the credits say. The game does not end here, however, though. Uh, this song is good, but it's not nearly as good as the Nameless song, sorry. That song has a place in my heart. Way to go, Dark Souls. Uh, what this is going to do, as soon as... You can't actually skip this, I don't believe. Yeah, no. Um, but it puts you right back in Majula, in the game you were just in, so you can finish up any loose ends. If you want to go around killing all the NPCs, which is super popular, go ahead and do that. To actually start New Game Plus, you have to talk to the Majula... Well, activate the Majula bonfire, and there's a, like a New Game Plus option. you got to hit that, and then it takes you in. But unless you do that, you're in this world forever. So if you want to PvP, 
You want to collect every item possible? Go for it. Uh, Kelly NPCs. Your um, sin level does carry over to New Game Plus, so if you do kill every NPC, there could be some uh, blue sentinels hunting you down, which is kind of fun, and it's a, a whole thing in its own. Uh, or you can just go talk to the partner and pay like a million souls. We're going to have a lot of souls. You're going to want to spend those um, there anyways. So yeah. Uh, that is it. You can only have 12 Estus Flasks and plus 5. So I only had a plus 11. I missed one. I didn't go back for it. And I missed a few Sublime Bone Dust. They will both. They will be there in New Game Plus, And you can get those in the normal spots that they are. But again, they can only go up to plus 12 and plus 5. So that's it. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful. Thank you for making Ray 2 a queen, or whatever she's going to do. Who knows what the future's going to hold for Ray 3. For all, everyone, this has been Andrew for GameZone. Take care.